Today is World Communion Sunday, a day when millions of people all over the world commune with God and with each other. So what does it mean to commune? Sometimes people talk about communing with nature. That doesn't just mean taking a walk outside. It means that as you stand in a meadow or the woods, you're aware of the wonders all around you with all your senses. You hear the birds, the rattle of leaves in the wind, the buzzing of bees. You smell the sweet scent of blossoms, but also the musty smell of damp earth and rotting wood, and the spicy smell of fall weeds, and the clean, fresh smell of the breeze. You feel not only the warmth of the sun and the gentle nudge of the wind, but the roughness of bark and the glossiness of an oak leaf, the fuzz of a caterpillar. You might taste a late berry or the fruit of an old forgotten apple tree, and you see all around you the incredible range of things created, from gigantic pine trees to little tiny ants and to the variety of purples and pinks of all asters. To commune with nature is to be aware of all the sights and sounds and smells and tastes and textures around you and to feel amazed at the wonder of it all. When we commune with God, we do it through the sacrament of communion. A sacrament is a way that God's loving grace comes to us. It's something that Jesus did with his disciples and it has something that we can see and touch. When we celebrate communion, we remember that last supper that Jesus had with his disciples before he was arrested and crucified. He gave the disciples bread and wine, things that we can see and touch and taste. He told them that when they ate the bread and drank the wine, they were taking a little bit of him into themselves. What an amazing thing to think that when we take communion, a little bit of Jesus becomes a part of us too. That's love. That's grace. And we should be amazed at the wonder of it. Today, people all over the world are going to be taking Jesus into themselves. Maybe if we look closely, we could see that bit of Jesus shining through when we look at someone. When you look at Miss Teresa, can you see Jesus? She and Mr. Frank and Mr. Richard and Mr. Todd and a whole lot of other people help feed the hungry every month with a food truck. Jesus fed people. Or look at Miss Barb, Miss Pat, Mr. Bill and Miss Susan, Miss Pam, and others who send cards to people in happy and in sad times and visit people who are sick or can't easily leave home. Jesus cared for the sick and the lonely. Or how about Mr. Ben, Mr. Dan, and Mr. Casey, who spread the gospel by broadcasting our service? Jesus preached the gospel. Miss Tara, Miss Lisa, and Miss Amanda, who've been teaching you about God's love. Hapatia, Nella, and Kira, who have served by helping clear tables when we could meet in the fellowship hall. Hazel, who gives up flowers after service. Jesus taught, Jesus served, Jesus shared. That bit of Jesus is in all of us, and we might just need to take some time to see it in others and let others see it in us. After the service today, we have another chance to show that we have communed with God when we have our bread auction. Some people are sharing their time and talents at baking bread. Some will share their treasures when they purchase bread. And some of you will share your time and talents by acting as our auctioneers. It'll be a great time to put that Jesus within you into action. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for being inside me. Help me to see you in others and let others see you in me. Let me always be in communion with you, hearing your word, feeling your love, and seeing you all around me. In Jesus' name, amen.